The reason for this video was to share my fascination with my Tesla electrically powered car and my old electrically powered clocks. What is so fascinating, they both rely on batteries and the batteries need to be recharged periodically. First, let's look at the construction progress of the largest Tesla supercharger facility in the United States being built in Santa Monica, California. It is being built in two phases and when completed, there will be 62 V3 supercharger stations. Phase one is under construction now and will consist of 26 V3 supercharger stations. Phase two to follow and will consist of 36 V3 supercharger stations. Presently at the phase two site, there is a temporary eight station supercharger. When completed, this will be the largest Tesla supercharger station in the country and second only to the 72 station facility in Shanghai, China. Okay, now the connection to clocks. What makes a Tesla like an electromechanical clock? And the answer is they rely on batteries to operate. My electromechanical clocks were all made from the 1890s to the 1950s. They are all powered by batteries. These clocks do not need to be wound by hand. They all have small electric motors that automatically wind the mainspring. Other clocks have partial clock works and are moved forward each minute with an electrical impulse. Rather than a battery in each clock, a pair of wires connect each clock to central wire terminals and the terminals are connected to the batteries. Just like Tesla's, the batteries need to be recharged. This is how I keep the batteries charged. These are DC power supplies that continuously charge the batteries. Not exactly a Tesla supercharger, but enough to keep my clocks running. So electromechanical clocks are at least in one way quite similar to a Tesla. I'm ending with this aerial photo. Just 14 blocks from the Pacific Ocean, Santa Monica will soon have the country's largest supercharger station. Thank you for watching.